What petty office drama is happening at your workplace right now? 877-995-4681 to call me. 993-3 to text. Can uh, change your uh, voice if you want to keep that on the uh, low as well. And the uh, best one, you and tickets to Firefly. Let me go to uh, Melissa. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning. All right. So at your workplace, the uh, petty drama happening right now is what? We have this 28 lazy-ass man-child oh. who is offended <laughs> and butthurt that he was told to play his video games on his break, in the break room, on his lunch break, and not during company time. I mean, is um, uh, I was going to ask if it was Eric, but I guess I, we probably don't. Do you work in our building, <laughs> Melissa? I do not. I work in Louisville. Okay, because I think uh, there might be some conversation that our executive producer gets uh, too. Yeah. So, what is he playing? Like full on like uh, Xbox, or does he have like a handheld thing, or what's he doing? Yeah, he's playing on his phone, yeah. and then his head's down on his desk, or the phone's propped up. Yeah. So he's either playing the game, or he's listening to people play the game, and he's reacting to it, and and so he was told not to play, and then he's complaining that somebody. You know, that we didn't like him playing games yeah. during work. Wah. Yeah. Well, work should be fun. Yeah. Okay. Melissa, hold on <laughs> one second. I'm going to put you on hold. Thank you, T, for listening Hi. on the uh, I Heard uh, app. That is awesome. Let me go to uh, Fake Name Nikki. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Okay. So uh, this is okay. the the issue right now is what? So my pharmacist is very particular, and she has a favorite stapler. And everybody <laughs> knows that but somehow it just has keeps disappearing <laughs> now does it when it does it ever return uh back or is it gone forever fake name nikki no, it's uh it, it's gone yeah oh. do you want to know it's interesting fake name nikki we had a similar issue here ironically the where man. um there was a couple of years back eric who i consider a dear friend accused mm-hmm. me of all people of stealing his favorite pen and fake name nikki when i say hand to god i didn't know he had a favorite pen until he accused me of stealing it <laughs> had no idea and then sure I does. saw how mad he so got. Random. He ended up finding the pen somewhere else. I had nothing mm-hmm. to do with it. Now, the pen has since gone missing uh, again, yes. and he still thinks it's me. Now, I can't put my Are hand to God sure for the second time around. You? The first time, hand to God, nothing to do with me. But uh, second time, you know, it's inconclusive. Uh, Faith and Mickey, hold on one second. That is funny because you know, like with Eric, like, I know that drives him crazy. Oh, my God, yeah. So whoever took it, please give it back. Because uh, we don't we don't want to have Eric be uh, angry. It's not, not good for anybody. Not good, no. uh, Hillary, good morning. Good morning. Over a cubby hole, Hillary? What? Yeah. So, um, so I'm a teacher. I'm a preschool teacher. I was going to say, are we and, in kindergarten? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, we're in preschool. So um, the uh, the closet in my classroom, okay, mm. I'm the lead teacher, yeah. has like a secret cubby hole. And the, for lack of a better word, the teacher that is also the chef who spends most of her time in the kitchen is using it. And I politely asked her if I could use it to keep my stuff in sure. it because I have a bunch of teacher supplies that I want to keep in there. And she was like, no, I found it. I'm going to use it. This isn't even your classroom. It's the school's classroom. And I was Ooh. like, oh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so I found the key and I locked it. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Damn. So good, but to so pull savage. the line that is the school's clause, like, all right, bro or madam, what are you? Okay, Hillary, hold on one second. But thank you for being a teacher um, as well. Wait, Kim, wait, you guys have a petty office scoreboard? Yeah, we do. What do oh, you guys? Wait, so, what do we keep track of? Just like wins and losses, or who gets the most butthurt? Yeah, so no, there's rules. Well, both. There's rules. So it started with me and a former coworker because I. I thrive on being right, as as a woman does. I thrive on being right. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so my coworker and I, it started because he tried to call me out on something that he thought I was wrong on, and I was insistent, like, no, I was right, and I wasn't like mean about it or anything. So he went to go talk to someone above us, and it wasn't like this wasn't like it wasn't petty. He was just trying to make sure he had the correct answer, but he was so sure that I wasn't right. He went to go ask someone above us. Turns out I was right. He wouldn't have gotten caught, but he has too good of a conscience. He came back and told me. Damn. Oh, my. We decided to make a game out of it. So it was like a petty office bubble. Like, when you want to prove that you're right and there's rules to it, you both have to agree 
before it's resolved that it's going to be for a point, whoever's correct. And then at the end, if you can't resolve it, you have to bring in a third party to decide the tiebreaker. You know what's funny, this. Kim? Like, in, in like, <laughs> not, it's funny how this keeps getting brought back to me and Eric. I used to have a scoreboard of like proving I was right. And like you I had, really did. Hun- I had the wall predictions. Yeah. Because like I would yeah. say things be like, no, it's not gonna happen. And I and like it got to be boring because to be honest, it was always right. Mm. Yeah, be, it's gosh. kind of one yeah. of those well, one of those things. My, pre- my previous oh, coworker, um, he left a little. He left a few months ago, but before he left, he actually bought me a trophy that said "Queen of the Petty Office Squabble," and it's got like a crown on it. Oh, that's I awesome. would display <laughs> that proudly. Yeah. No, she that that's pretty sick. That she's always right. Yeah. I, oh, I love, I love that. Love okay, mm-hmm. Kim, hold on one second. You were in the running. I, you hear him yelling in the other yeah. room? I don't, I don't know why. He's he been would squawking be doing for that. a minute now. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me go. Uh, Daniel, good morning. Hey, good morning. So you work at a school. Uh, in yep. the, the petty uh, issue going on right now at the school is what? Yeah, so we have two copiers. We have our general copier for all the staff and uh, our specific office copier. And when that general copier is out, there's a ton of drama over everybody coming down and flooding our copier with all their cool quests. That's yeah. one. What though? No, that's so true though. Like, and and for us too. Like, there was drama here about the water. And if you missed that saga last year when we were, was it was the desert here, but people taking stuff all the time. That's um, that's funny. So, how often does the copier go out? So it goes out a lot because it's a very much um, people tend to make lots of sheets on it. So then inevitably when they come down and try to use our coats, people will start to give them fake coats. That's always an issue. I love that. <laughs> yeah. that's so Funny. Good. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Uh, Daniel, uh, one second. You in the running. By the way, I, there's another office drama here that I don't know if I should say this one. I Do wonder it. what. Why Again, not? Why I can't not? help myself. You know you're going Apparently, to. Apparently, there's a serial bathroom user who will go to other bathrooms on the floor to do their dirty oh, business. Oh, you're going there. Okay. Yes. Which, <laughs> I, I, which is, to me, it's funny. That's just funny because you can't, you can't, you can't call them oh, out for it. It's like you, not. You can't get in trouble for it because it is. Yeah, it's just it's like bathroom. It is what it is. I can't get mad at it. No. Uh, let me go to uh, to Fairfax. Andrea, good morning. Hi, good morning. Okay, so uh, the petty, uh, the complaints going on in your workplace right now is what? Yeah, so I'm, like, this is my first job post-grad. I work for a catering company. Um, I've never realized how petty older people are, but <laughs> about about a month or two ago, the um, chef at the department at, like, my catering company decided to make this Excel sheet to track food costs and all that fun stuff because he's a chef. And he was like, hey, to the county person, hey, I made this Excel sheet. Do you want it? And she was just like, no, absolutely not. Like, that's my job. I'm not going to use your Excel sheet. I'll make my own. And he's like, fine, make your own. A month or two later, we're here. And my boss is like, hey, I need that Excel sheet accounting. Can you make it? And she's like, oh, yeah, like the chef has it. Um, I'll just ask him to borrow his. And he's like, absolutely not. I gave it to you a month or two ago. Like. All you have to do is apologize, and I'll give it to you. Like literally, oh my all she God. has to do is apologize, and she's like, "I'm not apologizing." So Friday, my boss was going back and forth with both of them, trying to get someone to apologize, and now the accounting department is making their own, and he's keeping his. I mean, oh my I goodness. gosh, I'm petty like, boots. Who cares? I but I don't know. I appreciate the pettiness. Oh, that's what, yeah, that's I kind of funny. You too. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on one second, uh, Andrea. By the way, your votes for the winner over a text nine nine three three eight. Let me go, Emily. Good morning, Emily. Hi. Good morning. All right. So yours, the uh, petty fight of the office is what? So people are going crazy over other people sitting in the stalls next to them instead of one of the other ten <laughs> empty ones in the oh back. My. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so uh, funny. We had uh, one girl. She got walked out because she cussed out someone for doing it. She swore. People were targeting her every time she went to the bathroom, and she just what? Like, I mean, yeah. th- like that is that, that is kind of funny. Wild. I yeah. mean, it happens. So it's been going on forever. I just think it's the oh, it. of people, which is funny because I work with a bunch of like engineers. Yeah, the oh funny thing God. about uh, that's uh, with dude law. It's like if there's three urinals, you can't go to the middle one. Like that's kind of the same oh, I didn't thing. Know that was a dude law. Yeah, because if it's just because then somebody has to stand next to you. So I, I understand, understand that, that. But yeah. like the stalls, I feel like I don't think about it until I'm already in the stall. Yeah. Like I go to the first one that's available. So if someone's in the first, I go into the second, and then I'm like, yeah. are they going to be worded out? Now I have to worry about that. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> a lot of people get mad about it at my at my work. And oh, there's oh again, and there's nothing you can do. Right, Emily Hall, one second, you are in the running as well. 